to you as a librarian feel that censorship is necessary? Yes, I do. There are some pornographic works published which should not be allowed to pre freely circulate. What's the title of the book which is creating the present trouble? The Spy Who Loved Me, written by Ian Fleming. And as a banned book, what fate will it suffer now? It has already been withdrawn from circulation and it is about to be destroyed. And just how will you destroy the book? Well, I think I can dis demonstrate best. Physically destroying the book and getting rid of it. The pace of life was picking up in the 60s. Newcastle to Sydney Expressway was fast approaching. Williamtown RAF base entered the supersonic age. There was a tragedy when a Sabre jet crashed into the junction, killing its pilot, and a lucky escape for another airman whose jet flattened a house in Mayfield. Is this likely to make any uh, change in your career as a pilot? Oh, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> another time and another war. Vietnam was calling. Oh. What do we want? Hey. What do we get? Oh. In 1974, a wild East Coast low hit the hunter, driving ashore a Norwegian bulk carrier, the Cigna. She lies, broken backed, beyond all hope of salvage, a mere hundred yards. Off the shore. Salvage operations continued for months. Well, the Cigna saga has taken another very dramatic turn this morning when the ship actually broke in two. But ended with the stern section of the ship stranded on Stockton Beach to be battered by the elements. Welcome to Channel 3's wonderful world of colour. In this demonstration, we intend to show you just how colour television will look in your home. NBN prepared for the introduction of colour television. The people of Newcastle elected Australia's first female Lord Mayor, Joy Cummings. In 1979, the closure of the infamous Star Hotel put Newcastle on the map for all the wrong reasons. Within minutes of police arriving at the scene, a massive turnout of patrons farewelling the Star Hotel on its final night of training turned into a terrifying group, hurling cans, broken glass and anything at police. Two police vehicles, which were left abandoned, became raging infernos. The winner is from NBN3 Newcastle Star Hotel Riot. Accepted by Robert Wade, the reporter, and Barry Nan Caro, the cameraman. We should mention this riot occurred because a hotel was closed down. The way we shopped was changing too. As well as a coal supermarket and a Kmart store, the commercial Colossus contains 64 other specialty shops. The rise of big centres coincided with the decline of smaller co-ops. It was the end of an era also for the familiar co-op store Baker's Cart and its door-to-door -door deliveries. Old friends, farewell. Well, it's a heartbreaking thing <coughs> to see the horses go. It makes me always opinion. This horse I'm very attached to. I hate to see the fella go. 